G'day guys, Stores20 here and welcome back to Border Town. Guys, I am so sorry about a lack of Border Town episodes. I know that when I first started Marble Mountain, I said that we weren't going to stop any Border Town episodes, but unfortunately that is exactly what happened. So, you know, massive apologies from me. I, um, yeah, I totally screwed up. Basically, I had a whole bunch of pre-recorded episodes of Marble Mountain, about six episodes, which is quite a lot. That's about six weeks in advance, which I thought was quite a lot. But then, obviously, life just gets in the way sometimes. I had a really busy couple of months at work, and before I knew it, I was basically just back to square one recording episodes and uploading straight away. So my efforts to stay super organized just got totally messed up and yeah it's very very annoying but good news is we're back and i'm really excited to be back i am feeling really inspired to work in border town and i've got a whole bunch of ideas which i'll start sharing with you today actually in today's episode we're pretty much just developing the commercial area um, i have to admit a lot of the work at doing this is sort of just filling in the gaps and working on a couple of uh, you know bigger projects where I'm just expanding out the main commercial area for Las Palmas and I'll also be working on the population too and actually at the very end of the episode I'm going to be finally plopping down the custom billboards that were created by um, a lot of the viewers of this channel a lot of people got in touch on discord and created a whole bunch of amazing looking billboards and then um, those images were then turned into props that I'll be placing down pretty shortly well actually at the very end of the episodes and they really just they they're just amazing so thanks everybody who got involved in that one I'm uh, sorry it's taken so long to finally place them down now something that I am doing at the moment on screen this is pretty cool so I really wanted to start seeing the traffic starting to use some more of the lanes instead of just you know the two lanes that they're currently using um if you don't know this area this is the border crossing into las palmas basically the us side and i'm trying to encourage uh traffic to use multiple lanes and um, i spoke about this a couple of episodes ago but basically at the moment they're just using a couple of lanes and the reason why is because there's not really anywhere to go within Las Palmas except for basically out of the city or to one of the uh, residential districts which is kind of small at this at this point but now that I've been doing a bit of expanding uh, there's probably more traffic that are going to more places around the city and this is definitely going to be more uh, evident when we really start expanding out the city so um you know I'm just trying to divert traffic and try to make it so that you know if cars want to go to one particular area they can only use one lane and as you can see it's starting to work a lot better than it was before and um, yeah it's it's working pretty well I think um, eventually when we do get like more things happening in Las Palmas we're gonna see you know traffic using this using uh, multiple lanes and I really want to see just a massive line of traffic too just to really um, really stuff things up for um, for people trying to get in and out which is sort of the idea just to have like massive banks of traffic which is sort of like a ridiculous thing to say in city skylines because most people are trying to avoid traffic and um, I'm also working on the bus routes too because I wanted to start seeing some um, some buses coming in and out across the border and I've got some designated lanes for buses and for trucks so you know that works pretty well and um, I actually have to admit I did this Alright, so all this has been recorded probably about two months ago. Um, you can probably tell because the garbage icon doesn't have the industries icon. This is pre-industries update and, you know, before I even did um, all the work for the tutorials. So, you know, this is actually recorded quite a long time ago. And basically they recorded all this and I did all the work on Marble Mountain and I pretty much only just jumped back into... Uh, border town probably about last week so this footage is pretty old and it was really weird jumping back into it and it's kind of weird doing commentary over the top of it because I'm getting flashbacks to when I actually recorded all this stuff so you're not going to notice the change until about the 13 minute mark because I only really did a bit of work uh, last week and most of this has been recorded ages ago 
And on top of just the icon for the garbage changing, you're gonna notice a massive change in population. So you might recall from last episode, I was complaining about a lack of population within Border Town. And it didn't actually look like it because a lot of the houses were still, well, they weren't abandoned. They looked like they had a population. And it wasn't until I started doing a bit more of an investigation, I realized that the majority of the houses, um, either in Juarez or in Las Palmas, were just didn't have any residents in it. So basically they were technically abandoned, but they just were still uh, normal looking houses. So it was really misleading and I didn't realize that until I guess, you know, last episode. And um, basically what was happening is I was using a mod called uh, Resilient Owners Mod. And that was working really well in terms of making sure that houses weren't becoming abandoned. Um, however, they were still technically abandoned. So I ended up downloading a mod called Fill the Houses. And what that does is it just makes houses automatically have residents in it. And I think it makes it so that they're a little bit more resilient to uh, like a lack of parks and a lack of water and all that sort of stuff. Um, I was also using a mod called uh, hide the what was it called? It was called No Problems mod, and that was also just hiding a lot of the problems that were happening in the city rather than solving anything. So I got rid of that, got fill the houses, and you're going to see like a massive change in population. I think we get pretty close to ten thousand, and that is a huge difference. I mean, we're on almost five thousand at the moment. And I'll tell you what, you notice a really big difference uh, with the amount of cars and in particular, the biggest difference I notice, and I need to do something about this because it's sort of ridiculous, but you're gonna see a lot of people crossing the border, like a lot. And you know, at first I was like, oh, this is awesome. Now we're seeing like heaps of people walking around, but it's just, it's just like masses amounts of people just walking um, around the city there's less drivers and there's more walkers so i think um i think we're gonna need to change something um i'm pretty sure it has something to do with the fact that we have the only passenger service on this side of the border and i think a lot of people are a lot of the tourists are getting off at las palmas and then crossing the border and going over to juarez and it just looks really looks really weird so i need to like make a couple adjustments there and but i'm really excited to the fact that we've actually got a more of a population that reflects a big city which is awesome and because I got rid of no problems mod I wanted to make sure that no building was becoming abandoned because of a lack of services so what I ended up doing is I placed like a whole bunch of services all surrounding the city so that there's you know and there's always going to be enough hospitals and schools and uh, there's like a university now so if you see those things it's like in really weird locations they're they're just there because i want uh, enough services to basically service the city while we're building up the two cities and you know at the moment we got like no official university or no official power plants and you know those things are going to come later on down the track but i don't really just want to place them down for the sake of it and then you know regret where i put it uh, this series is sort of all about creating a realistic city so that everything makes sense for where it is and if i was to jump into those builds right now then i don't know i feel like we we'll, won't have room for other things that we really need hmm i feel like i should talk about what i've been doing on screen but to be honest i just feel like i'm not really doing anything too special i'm really just filling in gaps so i'm sorry if it's a bit boring i um really just wanted to release this episode because I did want to talk about a whole bunch of stuff and I knew that if I was doing something super interesting on screen then I probably wouldn't be able to talk about all this admin things. So sorry if it's not that in interesting. Uh, the next few episodes though are going to be just absolute pearls of episodes. I have a lot of really cool things planned. So for instance, we're going to start looking at the skyline and we're going to work on a highway system in the next episode, which is going to be really, really awesome. So much more interesting episodes to come. Uh, sorry if it's a little bit dull, this one. Um, what I am starting to do though is I'm starting to figure out what I want the skyline to look like and how I want everything to start taking shape. And I guess on that topic, this is a good segue into this, but something that's been really bothering me about Border Town is that... So when I first started this series, I was obviously very inspired by El Paso and Juarez and 
really wanted to create something of my own based on those two cities. So when I went into this whole series, I was thinking, okay, I'll, I'll follow the same uh, layout of the road network and, you know, put the border crossing here and the downtown will go here and the highways will go around here. And I really followed the same structure of those two cities so then I can have like a really strong base to start forming my own city. And then, um, you know, I guess I build the border and then I build the trains and then I build this and I build that. And then all of a sudden I've basically just recreated El Paso. <laughs> and, you know, that's really frustrating because I didn't intend to do that. I, I totally intended to do my own thing rather than um, totally following those two cities and I think what's happened is the fact that I followed such a rigid uh, I guess road structure and you know such a unique area you know it's not just, not just like I'm building a American city I'm building a very specific place so it's been really hard to steer away from what um, El Paso and Juarez look like and to do a little bit more of my own sort of creation and using my own imagination to create it. So over the next couple of episodes, well actually not just the next couple of episodes, from now on I am going to try really hard to create this series more off my own imagination and less based on El Paso and Juarez. Now of course it's still going to look like El Paso, it's really going to have that vibe but I've, I'm going to follow a little bit more of a, a different structure and I'm going to start changing where the roads sit and I think the biggest change is going to come from the skyline because I'm going to change the skyline quite a bit and um, originally I had in my mind that I'll create like a really big skyline and have some really massive buildings and stuff like that but I've ended up changing my mind and I think I'm going to... I'm go think I'm going to have still a bigger skyline than El Paso but it's going to be just a lot different and it's not going to be massive it's just going to be a pretty smallish skyline I think that it will better reflect the cities that you know sit around uh, Texas and New Mexico and you know they don't have massively pro prominent skylines and I think you know if I'm going to kind of create something that's based around those areas I'd like to combine a lot of those skylines so if you've got any ideas definitely shoot them across I am still sort of collecting assets for the skyline and figuring out how it's definitely going to look um, in the meantime definitely let me know what you think what sort of buildings and you know leave me a link or something below but um yeah I'm going to try my hardest to steer away from just going basically block for block what El Paso looks like and trying to put my own little spin on it and I guess this park is my first own creation uh, this doesn't exist in, La in El Paso and I'm trying really hard to just not look at Google images and trying to follow something and um, it's working at the moment because I've just started creating stuff that's a little bit more unique for this area and um, you can also see the change in population so this is after so this is all now like last week footage and just look how many people there are just even this in this area where there's pretty much nothing so around where there are actual houses and around the border we just have just crowds of people and I'm hoping that's going to settle down as I don't know I guess as we pr progress in this series but I might have to change a couple of things because it's just a bit ridiculous I'm not really sure why so many people are choosing to walk when they could just drive and you know I guess it's kind of nice to see people walking but it's also kind of a little bit crazy in terms of how many people are walking and how many people are driving but this park it's probably one of the biggest parks I'm gonna be placing around the downtown um, oh by the way this is this is like a, this is pretty much the downtown area and I am um, I originally thought I was going to be placing down all the skyline buildings um, you know at least next episode but I am um, I think I need to do a bit of infrastructure before I do that because at the moment I've just laid down a very rough uh, road network and it's just causing all sorts of problems so in the next episode I'm gonna be working on the highway and also just figuring out where roads are gonna sit in terms of the downtown and then after that we'll probably start placing down some buildings and um, all that stuff and I know I've just only built the skyline for uh, for Marble Mountain but we're gonna do another one here so <laughs> sorry about that a little bit of repetitiveness and um, yeah it's kind of it's kind of just the way it goes and um, I'm having a little bit of a problem as well because I 
So this map theme's amazing. This is uh, Los Angeles map theme by Al, and I love it. Um, but the only problem is, is it doesn't have any green grass, so it makes it really hard when you're trying to create nicer looking areas that have obviously been turfed and uh, well maintained. But, you know, I just can't really achieve it. And even with a park like this, it eventually goes really brown looking because um, this is all fertile grass that I've just placed down and then it changes when um, I place down trees. So at the moment you're going to see some pretty nice grass here, but next time I load up the game it just changes back to really brown looking. But it's just the way that this map looks and that's totally fine. And now we're finally placing down the custom billboards for Border Town. Thanks to everybody who got involved. Basically all these images were created by people on Discord and they're all custom images. And then the props were created by um, that Evan. So these big props, these big billboards are created by that Evan. And the smaller ones you'll see me placed down are created by Ganook. And we try to split them up so that the ones that best fit for big billboards were on these bigger ones and then the ones that um, were created by Ganuka, sort of smaller ones that are going to be placed above buildings and houses and things like that. And you'll see them in much better form in the cinematics and this is not the only time I'm going to be placing them down. So if you don't see yours placed down, you're probably going to see it in the next few episodes as I really use these things throughout all of Las Palmas and Juarez. So thanks again so much for getting involved, it's so damn cool to have things like this in Border Town, it just creates a much more unique experience. And um, that's pretty much it for the episode, thank you guys so much for tuning in, again so sorry for the lack of episodes. Uh, next week probably won't be Border Town, it'll be Marble Mountain again, but the week after would definitely be Border Town, I promise, definitely, 100%, not lying, <laughs> telling the truth. If you have enjoyed this episode, don't forget to leave some nice feedback. That's always muchly appreciated. But until next week, have a great one, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.